Welcome back to Sous Vide Everything, everybody. I'm a big fan of nice, thick steaks. How about you, Mama? Yep. You don't like the little bit, little bit? Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I know. But a lot of times when we go in the grocery stores, there is none available. So today we're running this experiment. Check it out. I've always recommended thick steaks for sous vide and usually cook them between two to two and a half hours depending on the steak. And I've always said, if a steak is thinner, then you have to cook it for a lot less time so that you can have the same texture as a thick steak. But I really have not tested as I rarely get thin steaks. So I thought today would be interesting to find out if a thick steak and a thin steak cooked at the exact same temperature but different times and as long as it was cooked all the way through would have the same texture and there's only one way to find out so we're gonna do this experiment together I started off by seasoning all the steak with my favorite seasoning which is salt pepper and garlic powder notice that the first steak is two inches thick and the other two is just half an inch thick and let me remind you, even though I don't always show, I always season both sides. After my steaks were perfectly seasoned, all there's left to do is put them on the bag and get them ready for sous vide. For a side dish, I decided to do a simple salad. I call this the leftover salad. And it's pretty straightforward. Grab everything that you have in your house and make a salad out of it. Let me show it to you. We start off with a can of carrots and peas. Then I throw in some beads, some leftover roasted corn, grilled pork tenderloin, sharp cheddar cheese, some leftover ham. Then I seasoned it with salt, freshly ground black pepper, and my secret ingredient that makes everything taste amazing, creme gelage. If you have never seen creme gelage, make sure you check it out in the description down below. I show you exactly where to get it from your grocery store. And just in case your grocery store does not have it, you can always order online. Then to finish it off, just throw in a little bit of mayo, mix it well, and your leftover salad is done. I wanted to get a little creative and I got a little bit of chicharrones straight from the bag which I had leftovers also. And as you can see they'll give a nice crunch to the salad. Now I definitely made a huge mistake right here. Because remember I am prepping this the day before. But I decided to add it right now. And you will see later on that this turned out to be a terrible mistake. Just a side note when you're making this only add the chicharrones when it's time to eat. But now let's get right back to our steaks. I am cooking all of them at 135 degrees Fahrenheit. One of the thin steaks are gonna be there for half an hour and the other two steaks are gonna be there for two and a half hours. We got our wonderful steaks ready. We are starving. Even Ma's mom's stomach was like brrr and so is mine. Enough talking, it's ready. Let's take it out, let's do it. Guys, like always, these steaks smells absolutely fantastic. Now here's the deal today for the searing. Obviously, I gotta pet it dry so that we can get a wonderful sear. But most importantly, to keep these tests accurate, I'm going to be searing each steaks with the flamethrower for no longer than 35 seconds each side. That way will let us know anything different. The variable is only the sous vide machine and how it was cooked because each one I will be timing them to be 35 seconds per side, no more than that. And believe me, that's plenty for the flamethrower. But I know they don't look that good right now. Watch this. All right, guys, we have our wonderful steak ready. It is time to cut them open. Let's do it. All right, my friend Ninja, we have our beautiful steak tree. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Always hungry? Not always, but I'm hungry today. Very good. Guys, as you can see it, this one here is almost cooked as good as the very last one here. This one here 
is a little bit overcooked. I can tell right away. I don't know if it's coming on the camera, which I hope it is. Okay. Hmm? I don't think they'll be able to tell because of the coloration. Okay, but this one here, as you can see, we got quite a bit more juice as expected. This one, the juice completely ran out. And then this one here, obviously, it's perfectly juicy. So, like I've said it before, thickness is important. Always a thicker steak is better than a thinner steak. Size are you, matter. Are you thinking about bad things? I know what you're thinking. You have a bad... How Size you... matter. <laughs> or thickness matter. I'm not talking about those things. I'm talking about <laughs> size. All right, very good. Go for it. Pretty juicy. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes amazing, everybody. Of course. Tastes is good. Mmm. Mm. Perfect amount of salt. Texture is nice. But it's not as tender as I expected. I agree with you. It's not tender. It's tasty, not tender. Normally, a thinner steak, you know, is always going to be not as good as a thicker steak. Go for it, my mom. Okay, so let's go for A. This one feels firm. I know, right? Good steak, nice flavor. A little bit tougher and I want to say a little bit drier than two, the other one too, but I don't know if it has anything to do with the... How do you know it's drier? It's the first one. Than what we're used to. Sorry. <laughs> it's a little bit drier than what we're used to, but it could either be just the steak itself or it could be whatever you did different. I don't know. Fair enough. You know what? Let's jump this one and go straight to this one in here. Go straight to that one. Why? Let's see if the texture is the same as this one. Tell me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Size matter. It is not the same texture whatsoever, everybody. It's not. Wow. Spend a little bit more money on that thicker one if it's worth it. Mm. Not the same. That's a good thing. At all. Go for that one. Go for the big boy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Right away. Oh, what a level. The thick one, a lot juicier. You can tell just by looking at it. And a lot softer, too. Oh, my mouth is still watering. Just it's remember. Good, it. mama. It's we good. know it's good, mama. It's darn good. <laughs> that is a good steak. That is a wonderful steak. It's worth it. I know this one's not going to be that good, but we're here. Let's go for it. That anyway. one look dry? <laughs> no. Um, how do you say pallido in English? Pale. Pale. That one looked pale. <laughs> I don't think in English is the same as in Spanish because in... It looked yeah. white. No, but like what we're trying... It's like it's passing out. Look at that. <laughs> it's almost passing out. It has no energy. No. Energy is gone. This right. was a really tired cow. I used to eat only vegetables. Mm. And do a lot of workout. Try it. I was really tender. <laughs> <laughs> Really tender. It's not bad. It is fantastic. Mm. Mm. Okay, we have to do a comparison. We already know that this one is the best, right? I'm going for it. I know you're gonna. That's ask the filet mignon. It. You want to go for the filet mignon? Yes. <laughs> oh wow! Are you surprised? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it feels about like forkwise. It feels about as tough as the first one but when you bite on it it's as tender as the the big one really you think so yes wow mama it's not as juicy hmm, okay. it could, and i'm thinking the juicy might have something to do with the fat content of each piece wow okay but uh really good i know you want to try the filet go for it ninja i ate it you ate the filet? Yeah, you ate the filet. You ate the filet while I was filming my mouth? <laughs> yeah. What the hell, bro? I'll do it again. No! For you guys. No more. No Only more. Only for you guys. All right, let's try I'm the filet. I'm going to try the filet in the surprise one. Okay, go for that one. I'll go for this one. <laughs> this is heaven, bro. Wow. I normally say that the New York strip is a lot better than the filet, but not in this case. <laughs> this case, the filet is better. <laughs> You try that one. Mm. Even better. Even better. Filet for the surprise one, everybody. Whoa. Even better. Okay, tell me what you did different. Mm. 
Hold on, bro. There's some fat on this filet. Yeah. That filet is so tender. It's so a fatty delicious. Filet. Oh my god. That one is amazing. And you don't like fat. But you have to learn that a filet mignon with a little bit of fat is different. It's good fat. It's different. It's good fat. Okay, they are all cooked at 135 degrees Fahrenheit. All of them. All right. This one was cooked for 30 minutes. This one was cooked for two and a half hours. And this one was cooked for two and a half hours. Mm, okay. So you try to overcook the middle one. I try to see if it's good to leave it there as long as, you know, two and a half hours. And if there will be a lot difference. And I thought this one, I honestly thought everybody that this steak here will be a lot better than this steak here. And to be honest, at least my opinion, you share yours after, this steak here is not more superior than this steak. This steak, we felt a surprise because when I bit on it, it was very, very tender. It is not as juicy as this one, but because it cooked for longer, it's more tender. This one here is more juicy, but it's not as tender as this one here. That's my theory. What do you think? Well, this is what I think. I think this one is good, is juicy, but it's not close to the other one in tenderness and flavor. That other one has a lot more flavor. It's a little bit more overcooked. Right. It's not overcooked. It's awesome, bro. That one is awesome. It is. I mean, so, you should give it two hours, bro. Give it two hours. The first number eight. The, it was only thirty minutes. Only thirty minutes. All right. I think if you get home and you're tired and you want to eat fast <laughs> and and you have there. thirty minutes, <laughs> throw it in there. I, I honestly, I didn't think that thirty minutes would be enough to cook it well, but it's perfect. You did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you have the extra time, you suggest it going for a little longer. Leave it two hours. It's definitely worth the time. So this actually confirms the theory of sous vide, right? You cannot overcook it, which you, you can overcook it. Yes, you can overcook it. But at the same time, as you are overcooking the steak a little bit, you are also tenderizing the steak more. That's why this steak feels more tender than this steak right here. And the flavor. The flavor got in there real well. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, it's a sous vide magic. Process. Magic. <laughs> it got the spices in there, more spices. It got more salt in there, and it tastes really good through the entire steak. Very interesting results, everybody, because I have always recommended to all of you that if you have a thin steak, cook it for much, much less time. It's actually not true so you can cook it as long as this one now let's be real here all right this is the best steak there's nothing better than the big one so if you can buy it thick because it's better it's not always available on the grocery store i see your face already i look at this face it's not always available on the grocery store but thicker steak is a lot better for sous vide anyway guys that's the results ninja i have a salad here you know what the salad is called I don't know how it's called, but if we had chicharrones I, on it, listen, I know I like this it. This salad is called, I'm giving this salad a name, everybody. It's called everything you have in the house together with chicharroni on top, all right? <laughs> so, bro, we have some chicharroni, we have pork loin, we have ham, we have cheese, we have remolacha, we have a lot of things together. You didn't have any eggs, right? No, no eggs. <laughs> no, I did have eggs. But I didn't put it because of you. But I did have it. Try it. Let's Tell me try. about this. Uh... I like I like the bees. I like the chicharrones. I like everything here, man. Let's see. And uh, what makes the magic combined together is the creme de leche. Mm. How do you like it? Mm. Mm? Really good. This only one thing that I'm not 100% sure what it is. That's throwing me off a little bit. Mm. No. Let's see. I love it. <laughs> How can you not like that? Are you crazy? That's amazing, everybody. The spices are too Oh my wrong. god. What happened, bro? Huh? This thing kicked my butt. <laughs> I didn't put any spices. The chicharron was spicy. Ooh. <clears throat> so, what did you just say? What actually happened there? <sighs> okay. It was the chicharron got a little soft because I did it last night. So, what you gotta do it right away. You put the chicharron there for too long. Yeah. Mm. It got really soft. Yeah. And really spicy. 
The, the point of the chicharron is to give it a crunch. Right. There's no crunch. It's, it's, it's soft chicharron. It's soft, it's soft chicharron. Nobody likes Which soft is, chicharron. It's like mush. Take that stuff out and try just the salad. Mm, no, but the salad is delicious. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Guys, I don't know if you know, I have a channel too. We cook that with my wife. Check it out and let me know what you think. Give me some love, man. Give me some love to the ninja, bro. Check out Ninja's channel, everybody. See you on the next one, everybody. Guys, it is true. Look at my chicharrones, everybody. Oh my God, look at that. What is that? That's, That's like awesome. paper. What is that? You guys saw me crushing it. What is that with the chicharron, everybody? You know what's the weird thing? Uh, it looks like it's crunchy. I know, it, it looks, looks like it's crunchy. It looks like it's crunchy. But it's not. <laughs> it's like a piece of paper, everybody. Not at all. <laughs>